Hello and welcome back to lesson four of IAM. Here we're going to talk about IAM groups and policies, specifically concentrating on how to create, use, and manage IAM groups and understanding IAM policies and how they apply to groups. So as in the previous lesson, we talked about users and policies. Now we're going to talk about groups and policies. And again, under the common use of IAM is to manage users, groups, policies, and roles and this here talking about the grouping of groups and policies. So where we left off in the last lesson, Kunal, Matt, and Donna each had access individually to use S3. So I wanna make a clean slate here and I wanna show you first how to remove policies where you can go into users, click on the user themselves, and then click on detach policy. So if I do this for Kunal, Matt, and Donna, We now have a clean slate where none of them currently have access to S3. So what I wanna do now is create a group called dev. So for that, I'm gonna click on groups, create a new group, and we're gonna call this dev. At this point, I'm not going to attach a policy to the group, but I am going to finish and create the group. So we currently have a group with zero users. What we wanna now do is move Kunal, Matt, and Donna into the group dev. So for that, we will click on the group dev, and then under users here, we're gonna click on add users to group, and we're gonna click on Donna, Kunal, and Matt. Now Kunal, Matt, and Donna are all in the group dev, but if any of them were now to try to access S3, they would be denied since neither the group nor any of them individually have the S3 access policy attached to them. Now, one of the nice convenient things about groups is that to give Kunal, Matt, and Donna access to S3, instead of having to assign individually the policies to Kunal, Matt, and Donna, we only need to attach the policy to the group itself. So here under permissions, I can attach a policy. We'll do the S3 policy again. And I just attached the policy to the group, not to the individual users. But since the individual users are part of the group, all three of them now have access to S3. So this is a great way to simplify the process of granting or restricting access. So as an example, what would happen if I were to go back to users of the group and remove Matt from the group. Well, what would happen is Matt would lose access to S3. Kunal and Donna still have access to S3 through the policy attached to the group that they belong to. But now since Matt is currently no longer in the group, as you can see here, it's only Kunal and Donna, he now no longer has access to S3. So to restore access, all that we need to do is add him back to the group. And just like that, Matt once again has access to S3 and all of our developers have access to S3. So that is a quick overview of groups and policies and how and why they are used. And with that, we will complete this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.